Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we went through the desert, um, we helped out some love problems with two sesame seeds, got killed by a caterpillar, and now we're on our way to Foreside. See a big bridge here. Um, this isn't the big bridge from Final Fantasy V though. Doesn't have the same epic music, but I do like the Foreside music a lot, which is what you're hearing now. Yes, this is Foresight. I like the, what I like about Foresight is that it's completely different from uh, the cities of the first three cities. You know, one at two, sun, and three. In that, it's in like a this type of perspective. It's like a diagonal perspective, where the other ones. Geldegard Monotoly hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Yeah, Monotoly is the big wig of the city, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, it's just the perspective is very interesting, and there's a lot of stuff to do here. We're going to be spending a lot of time in and around Foreside, so that's pretty cool. We're just going to check out the outskirts of the city first, because why not? The Runway 5 from Tucson seemed very popular. I heard that the top of the theater is always full. Yeah, so the Runway 5 are here again, so you know what that probably means. And let's see the enemies we could find here, too. The extra cranky lady. It's not just a cranky bag lady, it's an extra one, cranky one. Continuous attack. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. Get, die, 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 die. That was funny. Paula got a smash attack back on her and didn't die. Take that extra cranky bag lady. Let's see what the annoying old party man. I think it's an annoying old party man. Or similar thing. The Annoying Reveler. Okay, it's it's a similar thing, it's just a different name. Second verse, same as the first, as they say. Let's try to freeze him. You're cold as ice. Yay, back to normal. You won. Yeah, there's a hotel here, so I'm not gonna skimp on the uh, PSI. It's a bad idea. PSI freeze beta makes things work so much better, so much easier. It's just a nice, powerful attack, you know? Oh, hello, police officer. Protect Mr. Monotoly first. The safety of citizens, the city comes second. Heh <laughs> heh, that's our job, you know. Heh <laughs> heh. Ah, uh, great. Corrupt cops here. Oh, wait, that means I can bribe them. Yes, I can use PSI money. Isn't that my, uh... Uh, one second. It's not in this game, is it? That... No, it's PSI love in this game, right? But in my uh, catch-up file, it was uh, PSI money. That was great. Actually, that reminds me, did I? I did that catch-up stream, but it wasn't, um... I don't know, it's weird. Oh, cause I, right, because I had to, to, to do videos. Whatever, don't, just ignore me. What happened to those guys digging for buried gold? Yeah, they pay off a million dollar debt very easily. Gold isn't that... No, that's not really how expensive gold is. In the old days, Mr. Manali was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. No, it doesn't seem that way. When one person controls the police, it's a bad sign. Uh, there's a lot of apartment buildings here that we can't go into. A lot of the time I wonder, like, why does, like... Like, there's a lot of places where they just have houses you can't get into, like in the Pokemon games and stuff, but... Uh, for, like, a big city here, it makes sense that it would have something like that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice touch, in my opinion, for here, because... You just get to, to see... Oh my god, what's with all these annoying party revelers? I do like that his attack is an annoying rant about today's youth, and it lowers your guts. So that's that's kind of funny. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this. Let's take a look at the map. As you can see, it says hospital, instead of, um... Like, uh, you know, it doesn't have the, the thing on it. Whatever it's called, the Red Cross. Just like most things. And it's a bar. Except it's coffee in this game. It used to be a bar. Does Mr. Galdegard not only come here often? I like his eye patch. It's just so interesting. Hello, time to get up. Could never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. Kids should be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotoly's here? You got that wrong, kid. Yeah, you're not really supposed to be here yet, so this makes absolutely no sense. It used to be Mr. Monotoly's employer. Then I realized his schemes made by company go bankrupt. My house and land are taken away. Now I'm homeless. 
Manoli didn't used to be so powerful. I'm gonna find out his secrets, so I'm gonna spend my time here watching and see if he ever traps in. Hey, it seems like it's just for decoration. No, you just have to have the fawns hit it. I'm surprised to talk to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. Ye and how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. Ah, that's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Master Pokey. What? The house of the bill of a cafe buzz. The house of the castle is laughing fast. And I got there. I accidentally knocked on walls, stands wrist and door. Next thing I'll do is someone asks, who is it? And really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it? Yeah, as you notice, this place was obviously supposed to be a bar before they turned into a cafe, and everyone was drinking and getting drunk, and all the dialogue in the Japanese version related to that, but Nintendo being Nintendo, were like, nope. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monopoly. He's made a deal with the devil. Oh no, you know, stuff like that. Well, that's interesting. Dinosaur Museum! Dinosaur Office! Rawr! Let's go in here. Hello? Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs, they're all replicas. Five dollars a piece? Oh, what a ripoff. You'll find an academic researcher? But is he only a replica? Oh my god, look, it's a... It's a, it's a dinosaur, you can't really see the whole thing of... I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime. That will never happen, especially not in this game. Ooh. Huge, not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Oh, are you? Oh, uh -huh -huh -huh. just as cool. No. Oh, a picture taken on instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for it's a memory. We'll get the camera ready. Say, fuzzy pickle! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring out the fun to the memory. Whee! Oh god, what's with the racism? Yes, it should sell dinosaur t shirts. And you should get rid of your I Love New York t shirt. Well, hello. I am so happy there are visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Me, several level four. Dinosaurs, huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I got to have my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I hear the dinosaurs are found near Lower Side Scarabo. There are lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. That is awesome. If you go, please try and find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Come back to study, because I don't like being alone. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this guy apparently works for the Syfy Network, S-Y-F-Y, -Y, used to be the Sci-Fi Network, and makes all those stupid movies, the stupid, uh, really low-budget, bad CGI dinosaur movies about dinosaurs living in the real world. <laughs> yeah, but that'll never happen. Uh, here's the Monotoly building, so let's check it out. We've heard a lot about this weirdo Mr. Monotoly and Pokey. There's a solitary tournament. A solitary tournament. I lost my shirt. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitary is? I just find that funny. A solitary tournament. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoly building? Well, it just happens to be you. I mean, uh, sorry, Paula. I... This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else behind me? It's only for Master Pokey's use, but I can use it anyway? Okay. Yes, and I am staring at your hips because they're fat and disgusting. Are you happy now? Well. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious you think a pot chat you with a machine gun. Ah, whoops. I was almost gonna beat you up. Ah. Well, well, well. Oh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. And uh, what's your name? Um, Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Did you come here to beg me for some money? Oh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. 
get it? And now I'm Gilda Garbinelli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Minnelli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't the place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! Well... I will cut you. You must never show your face around Master Pokey, you got that? Well, fine. Let's see who's in this room then. Oh, God, it's his father. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Aloysius Minch. Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's a perfect proper to describe me. <laughs> now my jaw's tired. I hope you die. Yes! We're gonna have to do something about this pokey, sir. Private elevator! Aww. Don't you shoot me. What are they doing with machine guns anyway? Since when has anyone in this game had a gun? Wee! Oh god, we dropped out of frame. Yep, there we are. Okay, good. What's that red line? Okay, well, we can't... Uh, Pokey's there, which is bad, but we can't see uh, Mr. whatever his face is. Suck like these people. When Manali became owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Okay. I wonder why the department store is closed. Temporarily closed. Gwar! Did they write that on the sign? Gwarg? It's weird. Uh, let's look over here, I think. Where are we on the map? Oh no, we have to go up. Okay. There's, a, there's an area up there that we may as well look at. And then I guess we'll go check out the Runaway 5. Um, can't really be up to any good. Ooh! Behind this wall, things seem very strange. It feels like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. Get it? Because it's in my sanctuary location. But we can't get to it quite yet, so we'll just have to be teased about it. Come on in, we got the goods, G. What you looking for? All right, my boy jerk, you can't do me like that. <laughs> the annoying part already reveler started lecturing you. He killed Paula. Oop. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for blah 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 blah. I thought that was an important call. Shut your face, dad. I don't wanna talk to you no more. Oh my god, it's taxi. Damn crazy taxi going everywhere. The mad taxi, excuse me. Let's kill this thing. Ow! We don't have Paula to use her super stuff, so let's try PSI Love. Oh god, the power of love doesn't work on it. Uh, use a bomb. Ow. Yay, totally scrapped. Awesome. Why did it have eyes? This isn't Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Have any of you actually ever seen that movie? I don't know. Oh my god, the annoying party revelers are everywhere. I know it's just annoying reveler, but still. Yes. Make strange sounds behind the buildings so that no one can see. Oh, Paula's ghost, you shall be avenged. The hospital's up there. Whoops. Yes, you shall be avenged by us reviving you. May as well check out the hospital too. Actually, I'm probably going to check out the Runaway Guys. The runaway Guys, the Runaway 5 in the next uh, episode. Because this one, I don't want to get too long. And uh, I like the Runaway 5 to have actual meaning. Let's go upstairs. That's just going to be the doctor's office. Let's just see if there's anyone here, you know? In the big city, hot child in the city. Grandma's gonna get better, huh? 
I'm just enjoying being with my grandchildren. I be better soon. Do you have grandchildren? Yes. Oh, at your age? Oh, the youth of today shock me. My lands. And she died. Yes, I'm like nine years old or something. And I already have grandkids. Which means that my kids had children. So let's see, if I had a child with Paul at age nine... I don't know, let's say my kids are six, my grandkids are three, and they just had great grandkids. Because that's how biology works. It's a terrifying thought. Although people are having children at like 12 now, it's disgusting. Usually not because they want to, but because they're idiots. But this isn't going to get into a uh, youth of today thing. There's lots of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop busted up. Look at the back alley of the department store. Huh. That's cool. So let's um, end off the episode here, and in the next episode we're going to go into the Topola Theater and try to get into a show. So this has been several Civil 4 with Earthbound. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.